We're excited to have uh, you join us for the Marvel's Runway panel. Let's get to it. We have an awesome cast. We have a lot of people here, so this can take a little while to get through everyone. So traveling thousands of internet miles, please welcome first to the stage, playing Nico Minoru Lyrica Okano. Yeah! And playing Carolina D, welcome Virginia Gardner. Yeah. 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 Welcome to the stage. Yeah. Get up, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo and playing Gert, Gert York's uh, Ariella Barber. Woo yeah. 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 Welcome. Woo watch watch nice. your step as you go up on stage. Watch your step. <laughs> and uh, welcome, Leslie. Uh, playing Leslie Dean. Welcome, Annie Wershing. Yeah, yeah. Annie. 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 <laughs> no stranger to the sci-fi fantasy genre, playing Victor Stein. Please welcome James Marzers. Woohoo! Jamie, Jamie. 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 Welcome, James. Jamie. Woo! And you, you're having a long day. I think this is uh, multiple pants for you today. So I love thank you so much. <laughs> and playing uh, Stacy Yorks, uh, Bridget Brana. Yeah, Bridget. Bridget. And uh, playing uh, Dale Yorks, please welcome Kevin Wiseman. Kevin Wood. Hey, okay, Kevin. And go Dodgers. <laughs> All right. And playing Tina Minoru, please welcome Brittany Ishibashi. Hey, In the house. Aww. And playing Zaven, please welcome Clarissa Thibault. Clarissa. Hey. Hey, Clarissa. Hey. Uh, all right, is that everyone? I think. That's, I think Angel. Oh, we're missing Angel. Oh, Angel. Please welcome Angel. Angel Parker, please join us. Angel. Yeah. I'm Angel Parker, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Angel. Angel. <laughs> Catherine Wild, playing Catherine Wilder. Thank you, Angel, for joining us. Of course. All right. Hey, and, and is that everybody? Wait. Is that everybody? Thanks. Okay. You I think so. All right. Hey, it looks like if you're on gallery view, this looks like the Brady Bunch. I think we could start the yeah, Marvel's <laughs> Runaway Bunch. Could be a new internet series that we could start here. So. You should look up and down and to the side. <laughs> That's right. Brady Bunch. By the way, yeah. where the nope. hell is Greg? <laughs> I just texted him. I just texted him, dude, we're doing the Runaways panel. What the WTF? <laughs> Couldn't make it. I was so looking forward to see your face. Hope you're doing well. Love you, dude. And he texts back, send me my love, send my love to everyone. So it's Aww. right there. You can Aww. see it. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> well, again, we have we have fans from all over the world: Argentina, Brazil, Germany, wow. of course, the Bay Area. We have places like Missouri, Kentucky, Oklahoma, Florida, all over the place. And so, fans love the Runaways. Hi, guys. And, and uh. <laughs> But but we want we we have a lot of people, so it's going to be tough. This this forty minutes will, will fly by. Uh, we just want to get a few little stories. We'll get fan questions in, so we're going to have a great time. And so, uh, but let's just kind of start with uh, each of you guys. Um, how did you, uh, Lyrica? How did you get connected with Runaways? Was it something that you were pursuing? Did it approach you? Like, how did that come about? Uh, no, I was. You know, I mean, I'm a struggling actor in New York. I'm still a struggling actor, but you know, <laughs> was back a struggling actor back then as well in New York, and was living at my parents' house. Uh, and my agent sent me the audition for Nico Minoru. I quickly researched online who this Japanese American superhero was. And of course, Nico came up and I learned a lot about her. Yeah. Um, and so, and then the audition <laughs> felt good. And then, you know, you get called back and, and all of a sudden you're moving to LA. Yeah. <laughs> Go Asian representation. Woo -woo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then uh, Virginia or Jenny, you have to go. Jenny, is your, would you like to go by? Okay, great. Jenny, um, how did you get connected with Gert? Um, I was Carolina. Oh, I'm mean, Carolina. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, tell us how you got connected with Gert. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, a whole other, that's a whole other story. Talk about how great Gert is. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was working on something in Vancouver and he got the, uh, the self tape for this and I didn't have anyone to read with because I had to do it when I wrapped at like midnight. So I did it on a computer screen and I had my mom call my hotel room phone and actually say the lines to me over the hotel room landline. And there was no lighting and it was done on a laptop. It just looked horrible. And to this day, the casting director will make fun of me for how bad that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked. Somehow it's some, by some chance. Yeah. <laughs> 
yeah, you know, talent, the talent yeah. shown through, Ginny, the go. talent. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, you know, next thing I knew, we, you know, I was testing for some mystery Marvel show, and I really had no idea what comic it was or any, any details about this until after I got cast and was, uh, and was so fortunate that it was Runaways and working alongside these lovely people. Awesome. Ariella, how about you? How did you get connected to Gert? Um, <laughs> uh, well, I actually first auditioned for Molly. Oh. Okay. Because that was the designated Latina character. And my logic was, well, if this is like a teen show, everyone will probably be 30 and I'll look 14. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you so did when the show started. You look very young. You, you, yes. I, I was like, this will totally work. I'm not delusional. I can play 14 forever. I'm fine. Um, <laughs> but then I went in for Molly, didn't hear anything for like a month. And then they called me back and Patrick's words to me, and this has to do with the, the plot of the sides. It was like Molly is like going through puberty plot line, discovering that she had powers and he brings me back into the room. He was like, look, we thought you were great, but no one believed you were getting your period for the first time. <laughs> so they called me in for her and then the rest was easy. <laughs> Ariella, how did you grow your hair so fast, so long? It wasn't that fast. It was three years under a wig. No one noticed. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It was a quarantine, okay, James. James. Never, no one's getting a good way in the quarantine. Yeah. The pandemic is very long. Hollywood magic gets me every time. Yeah. <laughs> hi, hi, Annie. We uh, we were at a we were at a show. Um, I don't know, maybe a year or two back. Remember, yeah. remember that like thing called yeah. Remember that yeah. thing called conventions that we used to all go to. Yeah, I think yeah. so. <laughs> Live people. Uh, yeah. Who was that? <laughs> uh, how did how did you connect with Runaways? Um, kind of just the normal route. You know, agent sent me an audition. I went in for it. I can't even remember if I went in more than once. I think I went in maybe once and they used that as the test. Yeah. It was really, yeah, like, I do remember it being a mystery show, like very top secret. Yeah. Can't know anything about it. So it's hard to research exactly what you're going in for because you're not allowed to. Um, but yeah, kind of just the normal channels of agent casting, testing, book it. Excellent. All right. Yeah. James, how about you? Um, I, I didn't have to test for it because Victor was supposed to, uh, die in the, the fifth episode, oh, uh, wow. which is, it's so normal for me. I don't think I've ever been on a show as a regular that I had to test for because I'm always <laughs> playing characters that are supposed to die <laughs> and then people like change it. their <laughs> minds. But it was just, it was one of those circumstances where I'm driving to the audition and I'm, I'm told that the character is an evil Elon Musk. And, and the coffee and like, I'm, I'm on the 405 and I'm drinking my coffee and the coffee's really working. You know, those days when your brain <laughs> gets going and, and the, the caffeine's working and, uh, and I, and I decided, and I kind of made up a speech that, that this character might be giving to his company, uh, um, about, what was it about? It was Please about, tell me the you fact recorded that, it. What's that? Please tell me you recorded it on the ride there. <laughs> No, no, no. But okay. but the casting director let me record it for the audition. So it was it was all about. Um, uh, well, I'll just do it. Uh, guys, uh, good morning. I uh, hope your coffee is working. NASA has called us. Uh, they're having problems with the Mars mission. Uh, the Mar the uh, problem they have with the Mars mission is feces. They cannot get the water out. They can recycle. <laughs> we have to recycle circulate all of the water in the capsule because you can't you can't blast off enough. Uh, to uh, do anything but recycle everything. We can get it out of the air. We can get it out of plant material, all waste products, urine. That's all fine. But feces is just, they can't figure it out. So <laughs> coffee is free today. Uh, I needed a good idea on my uh, desk in the morning. Uh, if I don't have one good idea, they don't all have to work. But if, if I don't have one interesting thing on my desk by tomorrow morning, someone is fired. Go. And... <laughs> Did you and, just do uh, your audition monologue for us? That was it, yeah. <laughs> Did that just that happen? It. Yeah. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> so they hired me, hired. yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Brid Bridget, how I about you? I can also do Macbeth. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> um, well, the funniest thing is I got this mystery Marvel audition, but I couldn't read the sides. It was so faint and so secretive, I had to trace them. 
<laughs> and my kid even read it. And I thought, <laughs> what the hell? I can't, I can't, I don't, I can't read it. I don't know what's going on. There's no description. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to go and say hi and say, hey, what do you want me to do? Because I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sometimes planning is, you know, the worst thing you can do. So it was actually kind of great because I just did whatever he That's mentioned in the room. And then Annie, I saw you at the test, you and I, because your That's cousin is my right. good friend. That's right. Yes. That's so right. I know that we were there together because I was. Yes. You uh, sent a message on your way out. So. Yes. Uh-huh. That's funny. You coming in, like not knowing the lines feels very Stacey Yorks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought you, I was like, this is They probably so thought you did it on purpose. Uh-huh. <laughs> zone. Oh, All I saw was they said kooky, kooky, whatever. And I thought, okay, I can't read it. I'll wear my glasses. <laughs> and my hair is super naturally frizzy anyway. So I was like, this is going to take me like five minutes. <laughs> so we're good. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> and uh kevin i was a huge fan of alias back in the day oh, thanks, and i gotta Tony. say man you were like you were a cool tech nerd before it was cool to be a cool tech nerd and so yeah. <laughs> thank you thank you yeah for that. Well, i kevin, appreciate how, that how did you get connected that. with uh D- dale why well, I, I like ariella i was i also was i read for molly first which was weird <laughs> i saw you there i think i saw you there yeah and they were like we don't believe that yeah. you would um, you know, I, uh, I had worked with Josh on a show called Chuck and, yeah. uh, they kind of reached out about this and I went in and met Patrick cast director did some, did kind of my version of Dale and then it happened really quickly. And, and, uh, I wasn't that familiar with the comic, still not familiar with it. Can someone send that over? And, uh, <laughs> it, it's, uh, you know, I'm kidding. It's great. But yeah, I, I was excited about doing it. I didn't know that much about it. Eventually read the script and, and got really excited. What time is it? Midnight, Kevin. Midnight. Okay. Oh, I miss everybody. I miss everyone. Yeah, it, it, yeah I, it was, it's an amazing cast. I, we don't get a chance to speak again. And these, these are really talented, talented actors, Tony. So it was an awesome experience. Awesome. It's awesome. Uh, Brittany, my other Asian sister, welcome. Yeah. Uh, tell us, how did um, how did you get cast as Tina? As Tina. Well, the original sides were for Tamara because um, oh. you know everything was like code names. Um, they, I had just had a baby, and so it was like uh, eight o'clock. It was like the it was like three weeks old, my daughter. Oh my and, god! Um, I remember that? A, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, it was nuts. I remember very little from our first season because I wasn't sleeping. <laughs> but our um, yeah, it was like eight o'clock at night the day before, and and I got a call from my manager who had just spoken to Patrick and said, "Hey, can you sign this NDA and like be available tomorrow morning?" And just it's really close to you; it's right down the street. Um, and I was like, "Yeah, I get, yeah, sure." So I just went with my baby, and then and then had my husband like walk <laughs> Lilia around while I went in and met everybody, and then um. Yeah, and then that night, I think, I think it was like a Friday. That night, they were like, cool, are you good to start on Monday? Um, oh, my God. That was it. And I think, and James Yagashi was there, too. He had just flown in from New York, and he was there like with his little roller suitcase. And like we got to do our scenes together and do our little chemistry read. And then he was like, bye, I'm going back to the airport. Maybe I'll see you. Maybe I won't. And then we had, <laughs> we had three great seasons. Yeah. Wow. Menorahs. <laughs> uh, Clarissa, tell us about Zavin. Um, I mean, I came on a little later, but it was just as fast as everyone's talking about. Like, I think I had my initial audition on a Thursday, then I tested the next Thursday, and then I was at a table read the following Monday. Wow. And I met all of these lovely people, and it's the biggest project I'd ever been part of. So it's kind of shaking in my boots and pretending to be very, very confident. <laughs> <laughs> But for for Zavin, I mean, it was so secretive. I think the name was Curan or something like that. And it just said like Regal Alien. <laughs> <laughs> and I <laughs> I was like, okay, so really, really, you know, strong posture and went in with that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what I did. Apparently, uh, good. 
I think you have the super superpower that uh, everyone would love to have the shape shifting and all that mm-hmm. fun stuff. So yeah, I, get a I lot think of- it's it, you know it, it, it's a we're all cast pretty fast. Like Kevin, Kevin, you're right. You know, and I think it's it speaks to the fact that the producers, uh, Josh and Stephanie, know what they want and can mm-hmm. see it when they see it, and also that uh, Hulu trusted them. Because there obviously there wasn't a lot of back and forth or uh, disagree, you know, uh, mm-hmm. about that. Uh, I've been on other casting sessions where there's a big lag weight, and you know, there's a lot of debate between a lot of departments. But but I got the sense that it was just a couple of people watching auditions going yes, no, yes, really fast. Uh, and being that everyone was so well cast, I mean, like we're so well cast. Yeah, <laughs> it just speaks to them. seriously. Don't you think so? I think we're all like. Absolutely. I can't imagine anyone else playing these roles. <laughs> well, last but not least, uh, Angel, tell us about how Ooh. Catherine came about. My story was similar to Ginny's. I was working in Toronto uh, on The Strange, and we were transitioning from days to nights, like, like splits. You guys remember splits when we'd have to stay up all day. Um, and so I was trying to stay up late, so I went out to dinner with um, Corey Stoll and Rainbow Sun Franks, and I started to read this audition that was all encrypted. I think my name was Cassie. And I started to read it, and you know, we're just staying up late, drinking, trying to stay up as late as we could. And they, uh, Corey's in the Marvel Universe, and they knew it. They were like, that's Runaways. That's runaways. Um, and so then I was able to actually, they were positive, positive. Rainbow, I think, was a fan of the show, fan of the comic. And so then that night I'm up Googling and, and reading and, and I was like, oh, this is good. This is close. And then instead of using my computer, Jenny, I Google <laughs> self-tape facilities in Toronto and <laughs> took a taxi across, ta- like a taxi. I think it was, like Uber wasn't there yet or something. Yeah. Across town. And I still have that tape and that was the tape that took me all the way. Wow. I still have it in my little Vimeo. Um, wow. I want to send it over. I my curly <laughs> afro. I, I, I looked completely different and was exhausted, but it, it all worked out. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, hey, I have a, uh, we're already like halfway through uh, the panel. <laughs> no. Take no. oh, oh, care, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Bye. Uh, so I have a question I want you, I have a question I want you to think about, then I'm going to give a little uh, mid-panel, a uh, little sponsor blurb, and then I'll come back to you guys. <laughs> And so my question is, is that with the, with the show called The Marvel's Runaways, have you, when you were young, did you ever run away? And do you have a story <laughs> about that? And so, but hey, again, well, uh, thank you for the U.S. Army for sponsoring this uh, panel. And if you're just tuning in for us, uh, don't forget you're watching this live or you're watching it later on Twitch, Facebook, or, or YouTube. Check out the paid exp- uh, exclusive experiences like the one-on-one private video chats, autographs. Uh, video custom recording message, messages at wizardworldvirtual.com. And you can check that out. Or you can sign up and pay all the way up to the 30th for uh, one-on-ones with many of these lovely cast members. So anyway, let's back to you guys. Um, anyone have a story when you were young? Like when you, you know, got sick of, because, you know, there's nothing more uh, uh, evil than parents and then uh, teens are nothing more angry than parents. And so do you have anyone have a, a story you like to share? I did. Uh, I did. I did run away. I, I feigned. I was going into the bathroom. I was so upset. Locked the door, climbed out the window, which was a very small space, ran down to the Ralph's and I had, uh, which is a market in, in California. And uh, but my mother found me in like 25 minutes. It was a very short <laughs> running away experience. I think I, I ran away when I was like six. And I don't know why. I think I packed a backpack, crossed the street, crossed oh another gosh. street, and went to my neighbor, Mr. <laughs> Lou's house, because he always had orange juice and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Great place to hide out. Smart. And then, I mean, he told me to go home. And <laughs> <laughs> I'll be terrified if my six-year-old was just missing all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. I ran away, I think, when I was I – was I think I was 15. I had already decided in my mind I wanted to quit gymnastics, but my parents were very unhappy with the idea at the time. But I just, I mean, I I think that day I had to go to practice. So I went to the gym, saw my coach there and was like, I have something to talk to you about. I brought up the idea that maybe I should just stop doing gymnastics because, you know, I just want to be happy and I wanted to be a teenager. But my coach did not agree and was like, no, you got to, you got to go get back to the gym in like five minutes. I'll see you there. 
and she went she headed back towards the gym and instead of saying anything to anyone i just left the gym and then was going to go back to my parents house but instead i went to like my best friend's house and i think i i think i ended up going back home the next day but i just uh -huh. remember that very clearly i ran away from home nice wow well done. my parents my parents weren't really paying much attention so i didn't have to run away yeah. <laughs> but they were uh, in high school my parents would kind of run away so they would like every every weekend they would go they would leave on friday night and they wouldn't come back till late sunday oh my uh, God. and they would never tell us where they were going so um we would i would throw the most massive parties in the universe they were they were uh uh because it was every weekend it was like the whole school knew what are we doing in the weekend we're going to marsters for the party uh, and it would be massive, and Sunday morning the house would just be shot. And, but my friends, who are now doctors and lawyers, they were smart because they wanted to have a party the next weekend. So they would show up and clean the house. So when my parents got back, the house was cleaner yeah. than when they left, and they were smart enough not to ask any questions. Oh. Yeah. I remember one time uh, uh, th this football player punched uh, uh, a hole in the ceiling out of excitement, and the whole party – just surrounded him like dude that you're gonna ruin it for everybody oh my god you know and the next sunday he came came up with his tail between his legs with a couple friends and patched it and, <laughs> and then the parents never never really it was right in their bedroom like right above their bed <laughs> and they never really saw it yeah james i'm kind of like you i uh had so many nobody paid attention <laughs> one of nine <laughs> kids so i tried to run away probably once a week but I'm gone all day. And they're like, oh, he's with, she's with a sibling, brother, neighbor, you know, uh, nobody noticed. I'd come over the end of the night, I'm so angry. Did you notice I wasn't talking to you? <laughs> nobody noticed anything. So. Yeah. I ran away to the, to the front yard once. I was very yeah. mad and I took, Aww. I packed a little bag of snacks, a little knapsack, took my dad's keys, locked myself in his car my mom just came out and just like knocked on the window and asked if I would, you know, like to come back inside. And I said, I have run away <laughs> alone. And then I think maybe like 15 minutes I went back inside and I was like, I am hungry and I would like lunch. <laughs> that was the extent of my running away. <laughs> it's very much like you, Brittany, because you had good snacks. Like on set, always. you always had little snacks. Oh, I, you need good snacks. <laughs> very apropos, young Brittany. <laughs> Well, we're getting a lot of questions from fans. Uh, I'm grouping a bunch together. A uh, very common question is, is do you have a favorite episode to shoot from The Runaways? Oh. Clarissa, I'm going to start love, with you. I know you came in a little bit later, but uh, do you have a favorite episode from your bunch? I think I, I um, was that the third or fourth episode? The episode with the baby, whenever the baby <gasps> was there. Oh. I guess two episodes. But I love having that child on set. It was really nice. Aww. <laughs> so cute. It was so sweet. Yeah. I, loved, I loved my last episode when I was killed in prison. Um, killed again. <laughs> that, was, that was cool because we shot it all at a real jail down in Long Beach. Yeah. And we shot all of that in one day. So meeting up with. Renzi's character Alex and, and him breaking my heart and dying and all of that was shot in one day so it was just this massive day of work and the end of this role that I loved and um, it was it was really just kind of cool and powerful I remember driving home and thinking that I'd just be sobbing crying because I was so sad that you know my character had just been killed but really I was super proud of myself and like it was cool and then when I saw it I was really proud of it and it was just one of those so things good. where the role kind so of good. completed itself so well. So I enjoyed, I enjoyed dying on Runaways. Yeah. <laughs> I remember they let me punch a kid. That was awesome. <laughs> 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 you know, so you don't, you, you don't really get to do that very often, whether it's in life <laughs> or if it's, a, it was watch? young, young Greg, you know, it was, oh, it was, yeah. oh, yeah, it was yeah. my son. And oh, right. Like, you know, like the alternate right, world or whatever, right? The no, no, no. Right, it was, right, it, was right. it was, no, no. It was like real life. It was, it was that I was a bad dad. And when, when he was oh, a kid, I would oh. hit him. Right. And, and the thing <laughs> that I love about doing stunts is this kind of thing where like, we're not really hitting each other, but the audience is going to freak out. Like, like we're con men 
and the audience is our mark kind of idea. That's, that's kind of why I, I joined acting in the first place. And, and the kid uh, <laughs> was really cool and, and he was really good at the gag. And I remember people like the crew was afraid that he really got hit every time because we were in the car and they were all outside the car. So ev after every after every take, they would rush in, roll down the windows. Are you OK? And we would like snicker and like, yeah, we're fine. It's all right. But yeah, that was a great day. Jenny, how about you? Uh, favorite episode? I'd say the crossover with Cloak and Dagger was my favorite episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it been so many years of all of us working together, and it was so fun to introduce to two new characters. And, um, you know, it was just a really fun, it was that whole dark universe, which was a lot of fun to shoot. And, um, like, crashing through the window with Olivia and, and Lyrica. And, yeah, I would just, that was such, such a fun episode, I think, for everybody. I loved it. You guys were great in that crossover. It was such a good was episode. Really, was yeah, wasn't it your was favorite good. episode the ones that you got to film in the hostel for 16 hours a day? I, I heard that that was your favorite. <laughs> yeah, you got to do that once and never. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed, uh, Tony, Tony, to your point of, about um, being a fan of Alias, the, one of the last episodes that the parents did together was 309, where we were on a mission together and it was a series of night shoots in downtown LA and it had that kind of alias secret mission where we were all having to play characters to accomplish saving Molly and uh, fighting off Elizabeth Hurley. And it was, uh, it was a lot of fun to work with everybody yeah. and kind of, you know, play these characters on a secret spy mission. I had a lot of fun doing that. And, and and Kevin, when we did that, you and I looked like minions in our, our CDC. Yes. That's my favorite. I wish I kept, I wish I kept that outfit. <laughs> and so I could we got those masks. <laughs> yeah. After not working together yeah. all season, we got to mask. model. I mean, uh, ad lib again. Yeah, I love yeah. working with Bridget. I miss Bridget. She is fantastic. <laughs> we got to do a lot of weird stuff. That was a fun one. Yeah. yeah. You're the best. Kevin, how much of your dialogue that made it on screen was actually ad lib? You, got, you and Bridget? <laughs> a like lot. What percentage okay, was yeah. actually written and what percentage was just you just came up with? Uh, I'm going to go 60 40, James. 60 <laughs> written, 40, Bridget and I. We created in the, in the secret kitchens, we created some stuff. Amazing. I was going to say was, that my favorite oh, no. scenes for, for Leslie were with Julian and all of the scenes like in the white room in the first season, but now like being away from the whole show and looking back, all of those okay. crazy group scenes that were somewhat annoying to film, like the beginning <laughs> of the robe scenes and uh, out of the dig site scenes when it was just madness and like everyone was loopy and being ridiculous. Yes. I think looking back, having some time away from it now, those are kind of my favorite when we were all together and being kind of crazy. I agree. Like those night shoots downtown, like, yeah. I mean, we may have all been breathing in asbestos, but like yeah. I have so many fond memories of just hanging out with the whole, like getting the whole cast together. Cause we so rarely got to work with everybody. Like this, those memories are really, yeah. Are really yeah. The awesome. finale of season yeah. one and then the beginning of season two yeah. is, is what you're referencing. Yeah. yeah. Play, uh, playing Mario Kart and <laughs> trash talking with Jenny. <laughs> and like realizing that she could trash talk better than me. That was awesome. You were better. And, and with Ariel. Which was shocking. I thought I'd kick your ass in Mario Kart, but you would get me almost every time. You're a good, 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 good player. Oh, I owned you in Mario <laughs> Kart. Awesome I Mario owned Mario you. Mario Kart, though. <laughs> but you know, the, the, uh, this pandemic has definitely caused all of us to sort of like reflect and think back and, and really appreciate the things that we, we miss the most. And so um, the at Marvel's Runaway Fans account uh, uh, texted it or tweeted a message that asks, uh, what do you guys miss most about the show? You've already mentioned some of those things, but what, what do you, as you look back on this time, um, three awesome seasons, what do you miss most about it? I miss when, it, when I, I miss when it got tough when it was really late and it, we were really pressured. Uh, and it's, it's in those times that you see if the people that you think are really cool and nice, if it's really true or not. And it always so was true. I, I, I don't know that I've ever worked with a group of people that were just so uniformly cool and good people. And just, just to like trust that, 
and to know that if the chips get down again, that it's going to be okay. No one's going to lose it. No one's going to go off. We're going to get through it. Yeah. I just, I think everyone said it. I just, I missed the cast. Yeah. We were all yeah. together so much. It's such a big group that we didn't go back to our trailers in between setups and scenes. We all stayed. We all were sitting in our chairs. And I remember Kevin, you'd have your little light and your paper and your, <laughs> your water bottle, your uh, recyclable water. And, um, <laughs> and we, we all just hung out and, you know, this girls, the women of the pride, we still, you know, get together. We remember when we used to get together, ladies. Uh, in person, Are you guys doing Zoom virtual. calls? Are you doing yeah. a Zoom call yeah. without me? We did do a Zoom we call. Did we did. We've already done that. We need another. We'll invite you, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to be on that. Yeah. Hey, uh, another fan, Miranda, asked, uh, out of all of you, which is the one usually is the one that would laugh or break uh, during the scene the most? <laughs> Kevin. Mm. Kevin. 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 <laughs> well, I didn't break. I, I don't break. No, you would, you would break the stop. Change the line to go, wait, just give me one more. Wait, let's one more go ahead. Uh, I remember, yeah. what was that? There was one time we were all, I think we were all handcuffed and Kevin had a new ad lib for every take. Every time. Uh, do you remember oh, yeah. that, Kevin? Yeah. Yeah, and it like was you, during, it was in the crossover episode, right at the beginning where they come in. Uh, right, and like so many takes were blown because you were cracking us up. Maybe we no, broke we cracked the crew you, up. Cracked okay. up. Maybe it's you were the yeah. The Total catalyst for the breaking. Yes, yes. yes. Do you Sorry. remember any of those? That's more. Any of those ad libs? You no, studied them. no. I do Damn. it, and then it goes away. <laughs> yes. No they would say, "I'm going to try something. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something. Just, just go with it. Just say yes when I." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It was like Buddhist I like platitudes, the, I think. Yes, it was. Right? Uh, it was. Yes, I was trying to, yeah. to to calm assuage the situation. You know. Yeah. I like to give the editors options. And you were <laughs> yeah. quoting an Indian philosopher or something. Yes. <laughs> yeah. well, I did secretly. Right. I was googling. I was googling Zen <laughs> phrases in between takes to see what I could come up with. Because you knew the author that said the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I wanted to give credit where credit was due. <laughs> Uh, I miss you guys. <laughs> we, have a few, we have a few fans asking if you were able to, while we're all sort of uh, locked down or sort of locked down, or I don't know what exactly is happening. Um, have you picked up anything new, anything exciting, new hobbies, anything fun or, you know, anything that you uh, would like to share that you, how you've grown in the past few months? Well, yeah, I'm a teacher now. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> I teach children now. We're all yeah. teachers now. <laughs> yes, yeah, just so many children are just home all the time. Uh, so many uh, children. Uh, <laughs> I love them, not even mine. You're losing count. You're losing I am now an interior painter. Uh, I can now spray ooh. paint the room. Uh, <laughs> and you think Ariella, uh, Ariella uh, you're doing more. You're, uh, I see you playing guitar a lot, yeah? Ariella, I mean, you already played before, but are you... Getting to another level? No. <laughs> <laughs> More music. Level. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I'm, I'm video. <laughs> I'm a fan that's of new, your guitar playing. Yeah. Hey, I James, am too. <laughs> yeah, James, tell us about, uh, you mentioned before about the, the sort of concert, virtual concert that you're doing. Yeah, um, I think it was two or three days ago, uh, Ghost of the Robot, this is the band that I'm in, we uh, pre-recorded a little miniature concert uh and um but we unlike other fans we admitted that this was pre-recorded some bands are doing this and like telling people that they're doing it live which is not really true because there's a lag in zoom and and it, if we all tried to sing happy birthday right now you'd see what yeah, it's I mean. awesome. freaking impossible so <laughs> we we decided that we weren't going to try to play it like a live concert uh and then we just um uh we just hung out uh and answer questions you know we were all we were all on the phone with each other and somebody would call out the questions and type in the answers and kind of interact with fans and that was kind of the best that we could figure out how to have a live event uh online and actually be honest about it but it, it actually worked out pretty well yeah um yeah but we just recorded it with our iphones yeah. it was insanely easy actually yeah it's a crazy time right now we're all having to like adjust and you know come up with these new weird ways of creating content so yeah yeah my son is doing my son is doing solo work and he's figured out how to shoot his own videos by himself uh and he's got two out and another one's about to drop and they're really good like one of them was just like a shadow on a wall the other was him in silhouette up on a hill and he like he's got he 
he he edited so he's there's three of him all dancing uh in choreography uh and he's he's just like figuring it out uh cool. yeah yeah go to sullivan masters on youtube you'll see them well it's a, it's such a bummer uh we're already out of time can't believe it's time has oh, flown fuck, by no, come on man. just go over I, I, yeah <laughs> annie you got that selfie in just in time no, no. <laughs> right. did you do a selfie wait oh no it's actually so good it was, this would not did be run away doubt me without it <laughs> but but you know the this pandemic as tough as it's been it's given us time to to binge watch a lot of new shows and so a lot we have a lot of new fans that have come on uh, on the Hulu to watch uh, the Runaways, and so thank you all for just being amazing. And yeah, as you all know, uh, nothing's truly gone away in the world of Marvel. So you know, you know, you never know what what uh, iteration or version of Runaways could could come out with. And so, but I'm going to send you guys one off at a time. Uh, so, uh, Lyrica, we're going to ask you real quick: What's your one superpower that you wish you had? Go. Oh. Um. <laughs> ask everyone this question: Superpower. I I would like to, um, I would just, I would, I would, I, I would like to, um, just like make, make anything appear like really fast, like food or something. If I want to eat something. All right. Lyric Okano. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. In Virginia, Jenny, superpower, go. Um, you know, I would like to be like, Gert, uh, but be able to talk to my dogs and, and have conversations with them. <laughs> Virginia Gardner, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. <laughs> Ariella, well, how about you? Shape shifting. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. All right, thank you, Ariella. Yeah. 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 And then let's see, Andy, how about you? I'm gonna go healing. I know it's not uh, a sexy, yeah. but I'm gonna go healing. I, I oh, love the world mama. could use that. A lot of that by now. So. Hey guys. Thank you, thank you Andy. <laughs> yeah. James, how about you? I would have said um, flying, but then I realized that unless you have invulnerability, it's useless because you just, if you make one mistake and you're flying, just smack into a building and you're dead. <laughs> so they, they would have to be in tandem. But I would probably lying. If I could be a good liar, I'm horrible at lying. So if I could be like an excellent liar, it would be great. All right. All right. Thank you, James. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bridget, how about what's your superpower you wish you had? Uh, I think I'm on the same track as Annie. I mean, uh, if I could give everybody in the world uh, a feeling of love and respect, mm. that's the superpower. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Bridget. Thank you. Yay, Bridget. Kevin, your superpower, go. I'm going to go with seeing the future, especially what's going to transpire in November uh, in the woo. United States. Don't forget to vote. Love you. Yeah. Peace. Woo. Thank you, Kevin Wiseman, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Brittany, your superpower. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna have to go with um and take Zavin's power and 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 shape shifting. I think there could be also be a lot of yeah. good that happens with that too. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Thank you, Brittany. <gasps> Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Well, Larissa, what did you come up with? You've had so much um, time. I mean, I I want to say world peace if that's a power, but honestly, just like magic wand, just give me magic. Love it. <laughs> Is that a Love thing? It. A wizard. Thank you, Clarissa. Thank you Hi. so much. And Angel, what power did you come up with? I'm going to go with healing. I want to I want to yes. cure COVID. I want to cure COVID and I want to get back to work. And I would make a lot of money if I could come up with that. <laughs> what, but what? It's new normal. We'll be back. Yeah. We'll be back. Thank you, Angel. Thank you so much. And yes, thank definitely you. the world could use healing and be awesome. And so, again, thank you guys for joining uh, Wizard World Virtual Experiences. Thank you, guests. Thank you, fans. Thank you for your questions. Hey, this is Alex Malari Jr. and you are watching Phantom Spotlight. Be sure to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Your emperor commands it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>